In a previous video, I have explained why you should move away from traditional IT skills or roadmaps and you should focus on the higher ROI, the more in-demand skills and jobs moving forward. And I have clearly stated that the old path that a lot of people still advise you to start with in IT, which includes doing CompTIA A+, Network+, and then CCNA, and then CCNP, and then MCSA, Microsoft Server Administrator, and then you start applying to hardware technician jobs or junior network technician jobs or junior Microsoft Server Administrator jobs. This is not paying well anymore, and the demand for it, given the high number of qualified people with these certificates, is very high, and the demand is low, so the prices or the salaries are going to go down. And that's why I call it a lower ROI skills. It's not going to die. It's going to be there, but it's not going to pay as well. And you will be always competing with a lot of people to get a good job. So that we have discussed and the video is on top of my head right now, the link to it. And you can view it and you can watch it. And it has two episodes. One is brief and the other one is detailed. From now on, we are going to discuss what I like to call the modern IT skills or the modern IT and that incorporates the changes, incorporates the job market status and requirements and it also incorporates the high paying jobs and last but not least, it incorporates the certificates and the skills that you need to have under your belt even for entry level jobs that are high paying. And when I say high paying, if I'm talking about the US for example, I'm talking about jobs that would pay someone who is new with these skills between 80 to 100,000 at least, and it could go up depending on certificates and depending on the projects you have done and how well you do in the interviews. It could pay as much as 120, 130,000 US dollars a year for someone who has done equivalent learning and projects and who represents him or herself well in the interviews. So what are the must have skills for modern IT? I'm not going to talk about traditional IT anymore. And also I'm not talking about people who would like to specialize in networking. It's up to you, go with the traditional IT. That's up to everyone to choose. I'm talking to the ones who are not passionate about networking and the ones who are flexible, but they would like to yield the highest possible ROI. They would like more job security and if they get terminated or they don't like a job, then they will start applying and they will easily find a good alternative, high paying job. The ones who don't have a preference, but they want to sweat and invest the effort, time and money in something that will have high yield or high return on investment. So in that case, the skills are IT and cloud fundamentals. You need to know the cloud, AWS and Azure, depending on your country, which one is the first one, which one is the second one, this would be the case. I have not yet heard about any country where Google Cloud is number one, and that's the dominant cloud provider yet. And I'm talking about infrastructure. I'm not here talking about AI or machine learning or anything like that. Then you need to learn operating system and Linux is by far the right one that you should learn, not MCSA and not the Microsoft Server Administration. What if I land a job and the job requires me to know Microsoft Windows administration? That's fine. I'm going to learn it at that time. But if we put everything we need to know into the roadmap, we're going to finish in five years. And in five years, given the high pace and the fast pace of changes, maybe what I'm saying right now would not be applicable in five years. I need to know scripting and automation. So Python and bash scripting are the hottest two of course, PowerShell might, might also show up in some job posts as we have done before, but these two definitely are going to nail it if they are talking about scripting. Git and GitHub version control for scripts, for configuration files, for code files, for Terraform scripts, for any script, for Kubernetes or any scripts that will be used in the cloud. This is going to be a key resource to use. Of course, get GitHub or alternative solutions. I mean, there are other solutions. It's not only about GitHub. Python for automation. Then you have to learn Docker and Kubernetes because everyone nowadays is talking about hosting the application in cloud native architectures. And that means using containerized applications managed by 
Kubernetes or similar orchestration products. But Kubernetes is the one that is driving and leading the crowd. You need to know about monitoring. So Prometheus and Grafana, and maybe some logging skills as well, these are going to help you with the observability, with the ability to see what's going on in the infrastructure that you're going to be managing. And Terraform, because you need to write configuration files, either it is for the cloud, AWS or Azure, or even some other solutions using Terraform. So it's a vendor neutral scripting language. It's called HCL, very easy to learn and it will be beneficial no matter what the cloud provider that you are going to be working on. And then Ansible for configuration management. So these are the must have skills for anyone who would like to get into modern IT jobs, modern IT jobs. So this is not for networking and this is not for network security. So please don't write me in the comments, what about network security or cybersecurity? I'm excluding that because if you have to do with network security or deep into security, I'm talking about product security and protocol security, you must know about network details, network ports, how to protect the network, firewalls, and so on. So this is not talking about that. Cybersecurity is important and could continue to be important, but here I'm talking about cloud roles, ML ops roles, I'm talking about DevOps roles, automation roles, that's what I'm talking about here, okay? Even developers, they will need to know a lot of these skills, including Docker and Kubernetes for sure, because they may end up running that. They need to know enough about the cloud. They need to know Linux for sure. And maybe they will need some scripting, Git and GitHub 100%, Python for automation, or if they know Ruby or Golang or another language, maybe they can use it. So you will find out that Terraform as well, configuration management for Ansible, if they are going to be in small environments and they will be running the show, they will need a lot of these skills, if not all of them. But of course, if they are not responsible for monitoring and observability, if they are not responsible for configuration management, maybe they don't need Ansible and Prometheus and Grafana, maybe. But if they are going to work themselves to create infrastructures in the cloud, they need Terraform as well. So all the stack that we have discussed. All right, so these are the must have skills for anyone in IT. You would notice here that I was not talking about DevOps specifically, why? I did not include CICD. CICD is very critical for DevOps, but I did not include it because I'm talking generically about IT now. So how about cybersecurity professionals? Would they benefit from Docker and Kubernetes? Of course, they need some testing tools, maybe to monitor what's going on. They will need Prometheus and Grafana, but also maybe they need some tools to process the logs and then to do some security information and event management, or maybe log analysis, or maybe visualization for the logs and so on. They will need Bash, of course. Security people will need a lot of automation. Would they need to have Git and GitHub? Yes, because they are going to run scripts and now they need to maintain versions of the different scripts that have been created. Do they need the cloud? I mean, guess who, where is most of the hosting and most of the startups and most of the AI and machine learning work being done today? Not mentioning the percentage of environments or corporates that have shifted at least some, if not most of their loads into the cloud. So all of this is required no matter what your profession is in the in-demand and modern IT jobs. If we are going to drop A+, and Network+, and CCNA, then how are we going to get the requirements and the fundamentals of the networking? How are we going to get the requirements and the fundamentals of virtualization, and containerization, and the fundamentals of security? and ports and OSI model and all that. I mean, these were two of the main resources that would provide this knowledge. And sealing that with Cisco CCNA, you have a holistic and probably you have built also some small infrastructures and indeed commands, configuration and some debugging and some show commands and all that on Cisco routers and switches. Now you are taking that away from us. Where are we going to learn these skills from? And that's exactly what I'm going to create another video to tell you if you are adamant, if you are stubborn and you don't want to leave A plus and network plus and look for a course that will cover the fundamentals for you, then I will tell you exactly if you are heading to modern IT. So you are heading to modern IT, the high yield and the high ROI jobs. I will tell you what you can study for the fundamentals from A plus and network plus and CCNA and don't take these certificates. 
So take the fundamentals and move to modern IT roadmap that is right here. All right. So I'll make that in a separate video so we don't prolong this one more than this. But from now on, I'm going to be posting videos that talk about modern IT. I'm not going to post videos that talk about traditional IT or CCNA or CCNP. So let's finish this discussion right now. And you have the first video where I said why you should keep away from this. And also you have the second video that talks about details why you should do this or why you should listen to me. Now verify whatever you like, but verify from sources. Do not go around and talk to people that have been in networking for 15, 20, 30 years now, because these people are going to be brainwashed and they will tell you nothing runs without networking. So networking is always going to be there and there is no way it's going to disappear. I never said it's going to disappear, but I'm saying the demand is going to be less and the resources qualified are going to be much higher. The supply will be very high. The demand will be lower and will go lower with time, which means supply and demand imbalance. So salaries are going to go down. Competition will be very high. So it's better to jump ship and start upscaling. Even if you are in networking right now or in network security, you need to upscale and get into the modern IT and be prepared to future jobs rather than being stuck until you hit a dead end, you get laid off, you can't find a good paying job like that last one that you had. And then at that time, you are going to start finding out that this was a fact. And at that time, which will be too late, you are going to start upscaling or migrating or moving into modern IT. All right. So please consider subscribing to the channel, activate the notification to get the videos that will be upcoming all about modern IT, nothing about traditional IT. And if you benefited from the video, please consider giving us a like and share so the video will spread and will benefit a lot of people and will raise the awareness about the shift that happened in modern IT that a lot of old IT professionals are either unaware of or they are in denial or they don't want to admit that this has happened and they would like to protect or be defensive around their careers. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.